today we shall look into the engineering properties of foods i am engineer sri lakshmi assistant professor in the department of food processing technology psg college of arts and science coimbatore have you ever wondered what goes into the design and operation of the equipments for the food and agriculture products yes it's based on the engineering properties of foods they are properties which are useful and necessary in the design and operation of various equipments used in the food and agriculture processing the properties also play an important role while handling the raw materials at various stages of processing engineering properties are classified into the physical property aerodynamic property mechanical property frictional properties thermal properties and rheological properties the first property is the physical property physical properties are important in designing a particular equipment or in determining the behavior of the product for its handling equipment such as cleaners graders separators are designed based on the physical properties conveyors are also designed based on the shape of the product the physical properties include the size shape surface area volume density porosity color and appearance shape and size it is further classified into roundness roundness ratio and sphericity roundness is defined as the measure of the sharpness of the solid material it is given by the formula ap divided by ac which is the largest projected area of the object in its rest position to the area of the smallest circumscribing circle roundness ratio it is defined as the radius of curvature of the sharpest corner to the mean radius of the object whereas Sphericity is the diameter of the largest inscribed circle to the diameter of the smallest circumscribed circle. Apart from which, we could also use instruments for measuring the size and shape, which include the vernier caliper and the screw gauge. Density of any material is expressed as weight of the material to the volume of the material. Density is further classified into true density and bulk density. True density is the density of the material devoid of the air space, whereas bulk density is the density of the material including the air space. The specific gravity is expressed as density of the material to the density of the water, and it can be determined using a piconometer. Porosity is the relationship between the volume of the pore space to the total column of grain mass. The porosity is given by the formula. 1 minus rho b by rho g where rho b is the bulk density of the material and rho g is the true density of the material aero and hydrodynamic properties such as drag coefficient and terminal velocity are required for designing air and water conveying systems and also in separation equipment terminal velocity is the velocity at which an object remains suspended in air physical properties such as size and shape and density are required for calculating terminal velocity drag coefficient happens when any object rises or falls through a fluid it will experience a viscous drag as the object falls faster the drag forces increase at a faster rate frictional properties are important in designing storage bins hoppers Shoots, pneumatic and screw conveying system, forage harvesters and threshers. These parameters affect the power requirement to drive the machine. Static friction: the frictional force acting between surfaces of contact at rest with respect to each other is known as static friction. The friction force existing between surfaces in relative motion is defined as the kinetic friction. The angle of repose is the angle between the base and the slope of the cone formed on a free vertical fall of the granular material to the horizontal plane. These properties are very important in the design of hopper systems. Mechanical properties it may be defined as those that affect the behavior of agricultural material under an applied force. Hardness, compressive strength, impact resistance are these properties which are useful for apl application in designing of milling, handling, storage, and processing equipments. Hardness is the ability of the material to resist deformation or indentation. Compressive strength is the maximum compressive load a material can bear prior to its failure. The impact resistance is the ability of the material to withstand a high force. for a short span of time
Thermal properties are important in development of any thermal processing system. Thermal processing includes heating, cooling, freezing and drying. Thermal properties are the specific heat, thermal conductivity, enthalpy, thermal diffusivity and emissivity. Specific heat of a substance is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass by 1 degree centigrade, whereas thermal conductivity is the ability of a material to conduct heat. Enthalpy is referred as the heat absorbed or lost in a chemical reaction under constant pressure. In open system, the pressure in the system remains a constant, whereas thermal diffusivity shows the relationship between the ability of the material to conduct heat to its ability to store heat. Rheological properties. It may be defined as the science that deals with deformation and flow of the material under applied forces. These properties are useful in designing mechanical handling system and also in understanding transport process in various operation steps. Steps. The knowledge of these engineering properties of foods are important in designing and in the operation of various equipments in food industry. Basic understanding of these properties are of great importance to food engineers, scientists, processors towards developing efficient process and equipment development. Thank you.